hi diamonds welcome back to another video and if you are new thank you for joining us on the channel so today we are continuing the 12 days of christmas i'm so excited about this you guys you don't even know it's been a kind of challenging i'm not gonna lie to you but it's okay i'm here for it if you're here for it so i just wanted to announce the giveaway winner from the last video so this is the winner right here congratulations sweetheart thank you so much for showing up for me i really appreciate it and i've noticed you definitely so for those of you who didn't win, don't worry. We are continuing these giveaways from now all the way until Christmas. So I got you. Don't worry, boo-boo. But make sure that you guys are showing up on all my social media platforms so that I can see you. And then when I see you, I'll pick you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the post notifications so you're notified every single time i upload a new video so you can be entered in a chat in for a chance to win one of these prizes because they only get better i promise you okay guys let's get into the video Okay, Diamonds, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing an overlay. This is something different that I've been doing on my channel. I haven't done anything like this before, so I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this. This is a friend of mine, and she's just in to get an overlay on her nails. So she has a lot of damage going on on her nails, um, but that's okay. We're going to clean her up and get her back looking really nice and cute and just ex just excuse mine so mine's are busted too so let's just pretend like they don't exist so i'm just gonna go in with a medium sorry a fine arbor band actually and i'm just gonna go ahead and buff off any cuticle off her nail plate and then i'm also gonna go and buff over the nail surface as well so i'm just doing this quickly i'm not going in and trying to you know take off any of her damage or anything like that because i don't want to damage the nail further as you can see this nail right here is actually broken so i'm not going to take the break off i'm just going to go over it lightly file it and i'm just taking my time and clearing it off i'm literally just taking care of her cuticles with the arbor band because she's very sensitive and i don't want to hurt her once i'm done this i'm gonna go ahead and just take a buffer and lightly just even out the surface just a little bit more then i'm going in with my protein bond and i'm gonna go ahead and put that all over her nail and I'm doing two coats of this. I don't show two coats in the video, but you guys can get the idea. I do two coats of it. And if you're wondering why her fingers have like that white residue, I did a soak off on her and that's what's left. So I'm going to go in with some JC Beauty Concept Clear and I'm going to also use their monomer. I love their clear and their monomer is really one of my favorite monomers. I actually started just solely using their monomer now. I used to use Young Nail but I didn't like that it was so quick drying so I wanted something a little bit more workable and easier to use it's definitely great for beginners so if you're a beginner definitely try out this monomer I think you'll like it a lot okay so now I'm just doing these in one bead so I just got a bead on my brush and then I'm taking it from the cuticle straight to the free edge I don't put the acrylic right at the cuticle I kind of put it a little bit downwards towards the free edge and then push back towards the cuticle to fill in the gaps but you guys can see what i mean a little bit better here so i just place it right in front of the cuticle but not on the cuticle and then i just go back and mold it into place in the back and then pull down from the front all the way to the free edge and i'm just going to show you guys a few more and also, if there's a little bit access, I just cut it off and just go on to the next one. So because this is 
her natural nail that we are just going over um i'm not doing too much of an apex she has a small apex on this um the nails are not very long so you don't need a big giant apex on this guys it's not necessary you just want to add some strength to the nail and a little bit of bulk will help as well so just keep that in mind when you're doing shorter nails that you don't have to put a gigantic apex but honestly if the client likes that then you can definitely do it but i don't recommend it it actually can do a little bit of harm sometimes as well when the nail is growing out so just try to do things as you see fit okay so now i'm just going in to that crack nail so what i'm doing is i'm stabilizing it first so i'm taking a thin layer of acrylic and i'm just laying it right over that crack and i'm just going to go ahead and spread the acrylic out thinly fill in any gaps that may be missing acrylic and then once i'm done that then i go go in with my bead put it push it up to the cuticle and then pull it down over the nail i'm going right over the entire nail it's actually really easy to just encapsulate that break and, and that's all i'm doing for that and then i just clean up and then i can move on Okay, so now for my thumb, I'm literally doing the exact same thing. I got a little bit of a larger bead this time just because it's a bigger surface area and I'm doing the same thing. I'm pushing it up to the cuticle just so I don't flood the cuticle. I'm using medium to wet beads, but I'm not using like a super wet bead. I only use super wet beads when I am using um encapsulated colors just because i want them to be thin and i want them to go over the nails nice and smooth and i want to have a lot of time with them okay so i just shaped it up with the brush and then you guys can see this is what it's looking like so now i'm just gonna let my let her nails dry once i do the other hand and once they're dry i'm just gonna take my 180 nail file hand file whatever you want to call it and i'm just gonna shape her nails so i start with the outer edges first just to get my shape down and then after i will go over it with my ifa but usually i do shaping first so i go in and i just do the side walls and then i do the top of the nail actually when i do the top of the nail i do that last the reason why i do it last is just because her nails are not very consistent to their length so i just want to get everything done and then go in and shape the top of the nails so i can do them all at once okay so now all i'm doing is just perfecting the sides and as i'm doing this i'm asking her you know how she likes it or does she want it more narrow or she does she want it tapered in or how does she like her shape to look and she's just instructing me on that so i just show her little by little as we're going now i'm taking my e-file it's at a really slow rpm and i'm just tucking into the cuticles just to clean it up because of the layer of acrylic was so nice and smooth i was able to only do like the most minimal e-file filing just to smooth the surface over and that was really great for me and then here you guys go i'm just gonna speed this up because it actually took me a little while to go file these and then i went in and used an e-file i don't think you guys want to see the whole thing of 50 million times in real time anyways but if you do want to see this whole thing in real time definitely leave a comment down in the comment section and i will do a video in real time for you guys that would be fine that would be fun too okay so now i'm doing this beautiful red color from dnd &D. it's from their dc collection i really like it a lot i'll leave a link down in the description box of where you can get it actually a link will be in the description box for all the products and i also have a discount code for jc beauty concepts so if you guys like their products then definitely go check my description box out because i will have all the links for them down there okay so this red color is absolutely stunning and i'm trying to get as close to my cuticle area as i possibly can 
and then going down the nail with the red and i just love how beautiful this is it's so festive she wanted something very simple and i thought hey this is perfect for an instructional video because this way it's not going to be too much work for me to film record especially for it being the first time and yeah you guys can see exactly what i'm doing here so it made it happy for me and plus i always do designs on my other videos of where i do my own nails so this is really great for those beginners who want to just learn how to do some simple nails and then you can build up on your skills as you're going it's definitely a beginner friendly video or instructional i don't know what you want to call it but different people do things different way do what makes you happy and do what works for you what works best for you um there's no there is a wrong way but there's no wrong way if it's working for you is what i'm trying to say okay so now i'm just going into the thumb again with the same red color and once i finish this finger that will be it for her design she doesn't want anything fancy or anything like that she just wanted red for the season and i just want to thank you all for watching thank you so much for joining me also go ahead and check out the rules for the giveaway it will be down in my description box and good luck to you all i love you so much bye now